What are some pain management techniques that you implement when you're tattooing someone, um, and especially in a sensitive area? So I tend to work long days. Usually somebody's going to get six hours of tattooing out of me on a given day. So pain management is important and we generally try to do it without the use of pain pills, uh, which often is just going to make somebody feel funny. Uh, we've had sessions end early because of those. I also tend to avoid pre-numbing creams unless this person is coming back multiple times and there's a particular part of their tattoo is proven to be too difficult for them to sit for. Pre-numbing creams usually lead to shorter sessions. This is, this is my experience. Pain management is more complex than just using a product. I do use Bactine. I'm rinsing my client with Bactine the entire time I'm working on them. So there's always a little bit of numbing going on there. But a lot of it is about how you handle them, about being strategic about where you're working. If the session is going to include both bad areas and easier areas. You want to get those bad areas uh, over with earlier in the session. If you take breaks, you want to be careful coming back from breaks. Sometimes it's good to have uh, an area that's been worked enough that you can really back teen it and get it kind of numb. And so when you start up after a break, you just work in that area for you know, that first 15 or 20 minutes. The person is able to ease back into the harsh reality of getting tattooed. And a lot of it is just about making sure they're comfortable, they should be well supported by the chair or table that they're on, and you know, finding the right combination of distractions, the right music, the right conversation, and handling them in such a way that they don't feel like they're being tossed around too roughly. It's, it's a lot of things. Pain management is not just about drugs, it's mostly about how you handle your client, how you plan things, and uh, you know, just having a mindset of being less stressed, and you know, uh, enthused about finishing the thing. Thanks for watching. If you'd like to continue on to the next video, click here. To start from the beginning of the series, just click here. And if you're looking to improve your tattooing, you can follow this link down here.